grabs, flips, grinds. Those are tricks skateboarders like to do, usually outside, often in parks. But in Prague, these days the place to skate is a tunnel. When darkness falls, skaters climb over this fence. Try not to get caught by the security guards and then they can really shred. A tunnel like this is great for us skaters. It's dry and warm, what more could you want? We need more things like this. The skaters race through the tunnel at speeds of up to 40 kilometers an hour. No cars, no pedestrians. And because a lack of proper safety installations has repeatedly delayed the tunnel's opening, their fun is guaranteed through April, but they have to be fast to avoid the security guards. I just love the feeling. It's pure adrenaline. This is the best skate route, not just in Prague, but in the world, I think. But the construction of the tunnel was anything but fun for the residents of Prague. Entire blocks of houses were in danger of collapsing, so the construction company took measures like this. Steel beams run through Wojtek's living room. He often hits his head on them. It looks like a factory here. I sleep in this room, and I'm always whacking my head on that thing. My wife as well. She puts pillows on the beam, but it doesn't help. The tunnel has people throughout the city worried. The earth beneath Prague shook every now and again, and suddenly a hole appeared that had not been there the day before. People living nearby protested and went to the media. Czech TV is visiting Jana Matushkova. She wants everyone to see the damage the tunnel is doing to her building. There's also a building expert for the city, who says this is as bad as it will get, and anyway, the construction company will pay for all the damage. But Jana isn't satisfied. You have to experience it for yourself. Everything here shakes and vibrates when they set off the detonations. It's terrifying. My glasses and plates keep falling off the shelves. You can't imagine how awful it is. The costs for the tunnel project kept rising, and at some point the city skaters claimed it for themselves. As did corrupt tours, which leads groups through Prague, highlighting places where bribery is obviously at work. The Blanca Tunnel is a regular feature of their tour. When the tunnel was planned, it was supposed to cost around 1.2 billion euros. But it already overshot that by 400 million, and it will eat up a lot more than that by the time it opens. The corrupt tours group can only shake their heads. The skateboarders think it's money well invested, at least as long as the billion euro project is their private playground. They've had another good evening and no one got caught. Did the police show up? There weren't any police, they just showed up now, so I'm taking off. How was it for you? The ride was great. You see how lousy the weather is out here and inside it was just perfect. So while motorists in Prague are still dealing with congested roads, the skaters hope the tunnel will be just for them for some time to come.